Okay, so you're from the Oxen History Group. Can you just tell us a bit about what you do in the in your little group and um, what you've got planned on for the next year. And the... okay, um, with the Oxen His History Group, we just a, a bunch of volunteers yeah. who come together and they're interested in uh, all kind of history. Well, anything to do with history in Oxen. And although Oxton actually hasn't had a population that, that uh, of any great size since about 1850, okay. there are loads of interesting people who have lived here and have done things in and around Oxton. And basically, we research those people, um, find out what their stories were, um, and uh, we use them in all sorts of ways. We write a periodical from three, three or four times a year which has got articles in. Uh, we do walks around Oxen. There are five walks around Oxen where we point out and tell stories as we're walking. Yeah. Um, we write pamphlets. There's a pamphlet here. Uh, that we've got uh, five pamphlets now on, on interesting folk. Um, and we answer queries. Anybody who's interested in, in Oxen wants to know something about their house or what was, what was on the grounds of their house or who lived in it. That sort of thing will answer individual queries as well. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, it's steeped in history, isn't it? Really, as a part of a suburb, if you like, of Birkenhead. Um, and most of the area is a, is a conservation area as well, Loxton as well, isn't it? So well, that's right. Yeah, it is, it is. It is. So, I mean, I'm not really terribly involved in that, but you know, it's obviously yeah. that the the general idea is to preserve the best of what uh, what we've got in terms yeah. of our history and heritage but also adapt to modern times because everything changes yeah. and, uh, and so on. But walking around the village, it just, it still looks, it's old, the right word. You absolutely, know, you know, absolutely. You see it's not modern. photographs of what it yeah. looked like a hundred years ago and what it looks like now. Yeah. And there's often not a great deal of difference, you know. Yeah. But I mean, I, I, th I think it's the people that matter. I mean, o Oxton was a very rich place. A lot of very rich people came yeah. over. Uh, particularly from Liverpool, and built big houses in Oxton. Um, and, and some of them are really quite interesting folk uh, that have done amazing things. Um, but we've also got very ordinary people who have done amazing things. And my mind goes to a guy called uh, Arthur Hughes, um, who lived in Oxton. And he was brought up in a, a quite a humble uh, uh, house, a uh, humble family, joined the Navy, and wind the story on some sometime, and he was working down south, and uh, there was a shipwreck, a German ship founded on the rocks down, down off, the, off the southern coast. And he um, single-handedly got a rope on board and went down and rescued a whole load of people from the boat. And, a, and a, as, a, as, a, as a reward for his actions and his, his, his heroism, he was, um, he was awarded a medal by the king in England yeah. and a medal by the Kaiser in, in Germany because it was a German ship. Oh, which wow. is pretty <laughs> unusual. <laughs> That's it. So what's um so these some of these books you've got here. Yeah. Uh, who are these some of the Well we got uh, um, we got four at the moment. There's a guy called Cyril Scott. Yeah. Which uh, he's not very well known, but he was a, a, a 20th century classical composer. Okay. And he um, he's becoming more popular. He was very popular in his day. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, Laura and Jane Wilmer. Okay. And now there were a couple of women who uh, took over their father's newspaper business and printed the Birkenhead News. Took over it. Okay. And again, we're going back into uh, uh, Edwardian times uh, when they were um, when they were doing this. Pretty unusual to be a couple of women who are running a, a you know a, a quite an important local newspaper. Right, yeah. So that was them. Uh, they were also suffra suffragists. And made made um, uh, joined loads of women who were involved in the suffrage movement before yeah. the First World War. And then we've got um, and there's a booklet on uh, the suffragettes and suffragists of of okay. Oxton, and that's quite a thick book. Loads of political action by women getting getting involved uh, in the fight for um, for votes for women. Yeah. Last but not least is Edith Smith. Who, uh, the police uh, again yes. nobody's ever heard of yeah but, but she was um, that's not true anymore people people are getting to know her she was the first warranted police officer woman yeah. police officer in Britain 
Uh, she got warranted in 1916 for amazing police work that she was doing at a time when there wasn't a single woman police officer in the whole of, in the whole of Britain. So she's quite a, quite a story as well. I believe there's a blue plaque for her, is there? Yeah, the, these guys, have, yeah. these people have all got blue plaques. All got blue yeah. plaques, yeah. Uh, and we can do talks on some of these people. I mean, I yeah. do a talk on Edith Smith, and this, there's a talk that's done by one of the members uh, on the on the uh, on the suffragettes. So, uh, and, you know, and you do walks around the village as well. And indeed, yeah, you're yeah. very welcome to come on them. Yeah. So you just, so how can people um, get in touch with you to either? come to a talk or go on one of the walks. I'm sorry, I missed that. Yeah, how can people get in touch with oh, you right, to okay, um, sorry, yeah. come um, on a talk or, or uh, a Yeah, walk? well, there's a leaflet, uh, yeah. which is uh, uh, got, got the information on the front and the, um, uh, and the timetable on the back. Uh, and that's available, uh, well, you can find that online on, on the Oxton Society. OK. OxtonSociety.co.uk. Yeah. yeah. All the dates will be on there. It's also in the notice board in the middle of the village. But, and uh, okay. there's a little team of us who do that. And I mean, they're not po-faced. We all try to, take, we try to make our walks entertaining and fill them with stories about things that have gone on. Yeah. That's great. Well, thanks for talking to us. Lovely. Yeah, thanks very much. Cheers.